everybody. Drowning Love, episode 8. Joe's back to the States working. May, Nan. It's high season again in November, creeping towards the end of November. A lot of customers. A lot of new business that May secured from the Malaysian companies. As trips in, she's sorting out hotels, trips. Business is going really well. On to her private life. Quite a few times she's chatting away with Nan. And Nan's pushing her to say, look, you had the bad relationship with your previous Thai boyfriend many years ago. Very abusive, physically and emotionally. It's time you've not been in a relationship. Joe's the perfect guy. And she's pushing her over the whole month. You really ought to let go. And May starts thinking, Joe's a nice guy, he's older, slightly okay. Gentleman, gentle. Maybe we could have a relationship. She starts warming to the idea. She thinks maybe it's time. Wouldn't really want another Thai guy after what happened. She's just put off, so maybe. Beginning of December. Joe's give his notice in to the American companies and the Asian company is all ready to go in the new year. He's still got three certifications to do on a couple of the bits and pieces, areas, harbours and things. But they've said he can join in when he's finished his notice and he'll do the uh, harbours and things that he knows already and certified and he can get those certifications over the early part of the next year. He's still got the house in America, but he'll rent that out for now. But he's got a stint. 18th of December, he's got to be back in the States. He's got six weeks to do. And that's his last six weeks, and he has to do them. His plan will be, he's got a couple of weeks he can go back to Thailand and uh, pick up with the May uh, situation. And he'll sort after Christmas, once he's got the job finished, he'll start seriously looking at putting money down on the condo. The one he fancies isn't going to be finished till after Christmas anyway. So everything's pretty much sorted. He knows what he's doing. He knows the plan. 3rd, 4th of December, he lands back into Thailand. Pick the hotel back in the middle of the main beach area. He quite like that one as a four star. It's about 3,000 bars a night, but right in the middle of Patong Beach. Comes in early on an early flight, <coughs> gets down to the hotel, checks in. First thing he does, he's got to go straight to see May. It's about 10, 11 in the morning. It's about the time she arrives there. Walks down the road, round the corner. Doesn't even go to his bar. Straight to the shop, Nan's there but no May. And he walks in and Nan runs across and put her up, puts her arms around him. Wow. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> sits him down, makes a coffee for him. Says May will be there soon. And it was so nice to see him and how was everything and work and he explains where, that he's given his notice in and the plans and she's and then she has a quiet word with him and says that she's been talking to May and she thinks maybe there's something there that May might be interested in him. This was, what news, this is amazing news. They chat for 20 minutes or so, in walks May. And Joe turns around and looks at May and she's just looking as beautiful as ever. She's the special one, she's just in his eyes. He's obsessed with her, she's the dream. If he was ever going to have a partner in his life, he wanted it to be May. She walked in and saw Joe, and he stood up, and she actually came across and put her arms around him, gave him a big hug. First time, really. Absolutely thrilled to see him, and he's so thrilled to see her. He got his coffee, she sat down with Nan and, and him, they chatted about what Joe had done and the fact he was moving, going to move to Asia. This was great news, and May, you could see the cogs going. 
maybe just maybe this could work anyway joe said he just arrived and that he was going to get a beer and have a bit of a walk about could that evening could he uh, take may out now may's we're really busy december she's going to be there till midnight every night um so much to sort out with the malaysian trips and things she says talks to nan a couple of hours each evening she said we'll be okay maybe from sort of five till seven or six till eight uh, we can go out each evening have some food and catch up absolutely perfect that sounds like a date every night of his two-week holiday sorted says his goodbyes comes out rather than sit in that bar right next to the shop where he always was and has his drink he decides that he's gonna go up the road and round into second road go along there a bit there's a few bars behind the market and he wanders up there and uh, he's just cloud nine absolutely amazed this is perfect amazed the pun oh. everything is looking great fate has actually tipped me towards Joe. The condo, that can wait after Christmas. No worries. Everything's good. The evening soon comes. Goes and picks May up. Let's May pick the restaurant. They don't want to go too far because they've only got a couple of hours each night together. But they go around to a Thai street side sort of cafe. Uh, a couple of roads up tucked in off the beach and May's full of chat she's chatting more than normal and starts to indicate and says to Joe that because he's been so nice and opened her heart up and they talked about her relationship before she says to him I think it's time that maybe I start a relationship again and maybe we could try a proper relationship together. Ah, Joe nearly falls off his chair. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Just doesn't know. Oh my God. Everything's coming together. Now they spend every night and every morning Joe goes into the shop and he starts every night they have a meal. Every morning he's going in, he's taking cakes and breakfast or going for lunch with sandwiches or Thai food. They're getting really, really friendly, but they don't go in this two week holiday. They don't go on to the next stage. But a couple of days before the end of his holiday, May knows that Joe's got to go back off to work and the first kiss after a meal they're walking on the beach the first kiss romantic oh it's amazing Joe is that must be his first kiss in, in years it's just all it's perfect absolutely perfect and that his holiday is coming to an end May's sad She's not going to see him for six weeks. But as he said, as soon as six weeks over, he'll come back. He's got only got about a week that he can spend with her. And then he's got to start the Asian work. But he'll be local and he'll be able to get more time. It's more money, more time. And he talks about the condo to her. And he mentioned the one he's seen. Mm, it's all it's just like a jigsaw all fitting into place but they had that first kiss last evening very sad may nan far was there saying goodbye to joe he's got a late flight another kiss it says that he'll see her in six weeks and he'll bring her a present anything she wants from the states off he goes. Airport, back off, stateside. May is like 
a little child. Nan can't believe it. She's falling for Joe. She's talking about Joe a lot. Really good. Really good. Everything's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's the love story, the dream. It's all coming together. But fate again. It steps in. This time, not so good. A couple of weeks later, it's Christmas. Really busy in the shop, really busy. Lots of, lots of tourists about. Boxing Day, early hours of the morning. Tragedy strikes. Biggest tsunami in Asian history strikes on the early hours of December the 26th. Quarter of a million people lose their lives. Five or six thousand people in Thailand. The tsunami, 30 foot, 30 meter waves in the darkness of night hits Patong Beach. The biggest part of the tsunami hits northern Indonesia, Aka, A C E H, then comes on to Patong. Any building that was not of substantial concrete was flattened for blocks and blocks back from the beach. Total devastation hits. All in the dark at night, early hours of the morning. Where was May? Where was Nan? Where was Far? Huge, huge tragedy. Joe was on in the Caribbean. The time difference, some 12 hours. Over his radio, he's working on a ship. The early warnings came in to the ships. Then the news, Joe understood oceanology. He knew about the Burmese plates and the northern Indonesian plates, tectonic plates, the movement, what would happen, how big a tsunami could be caused, what the tsunami would do. He understood it all. He'd studied it for years. He see it all unfolding and on the news, on the TVs and he could see it hit Thailand and Patong. The cruelest thing ever possibly to happen to him, possibly losing the woman he's fallen in love with, he's obsessed with, his first glimmer in years of love and hope could be taken away from him. He could do nothing. He's on the other side of the world as it's unfolding and he's watching it unfold. Absolutely nothing he could do. He has a phone number for the shop. He tries ringing. All phone lines are down. No contacts. Total loss of contact. absolutely horrific for him and for everyone affected. Drowning in love. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.